Innovation is one of the greatest assets to a stringer. Tom Layden from the West Coast is gonna make you guys make a Franken pocket. You guys are off to the hardware store. All right, guys, so my contest is going to be, it's probably gonna be a little bit annoying to certain stringers who like working with lacrosse materials, and I apologize for that. So what we're gonna do for my contest is you have to string a pocket with anything that you can find in a hardware store. I will be judging contestants on creativity, but usability, usability is huge. We're gonna get weird, we're gonna do odd stuff, but it's gotta be functional in the end. The price for my competition this week will be five pieces of the new Red Star V2 Performance Mesh, along with a Red Star shooter shirt with the Red Star Bear, Red Star logo type on the bottom, and the Red Star California Bear on the front. So, how about it? This week our stringers are going to be using the Stallion 550. That is the latest in the Stallion line, a line that's done incredibly well out in the industry and incredibly well for players. It has C-channel technology as well as dual rail technology, making it incredibly stiff and durable. It's an amazing midfield head and good for anywhere on the field. So this week's challenge was all about creativity and innovation, and our contestants just knocked it out of the park. The, uh, the difference between first place and fifth place is like minuscule. These guys, each and every one of them did an amazing job. It's really tough to pick a winner. So let's get to it. This week in the number five spot is McLack Stringer with his mop and zip tie traditional. Obviously, this looked difficult, and reading his description, he explained how the mop strands were only 10 inches long, so that poses quite a bit of difficulty right there. I think he achieved some really clean-looking results. It just didn't have quite the wow factor of some of the other ones, but very strong effort. Number four this week uh, goes to Jack Stringing with his wire traditional. He used wire sheathing for the leathers and uh, copper, braided copper wiring for the cross lace. Very clean stringing. It looked completely functional. He said it's a little stiff, which is to be expected, but my favorite part is that he uh, topped it off with the wire caps on the ends of the wires, which was very good touch. Uh, real, real creative, good looking stringing. Number three this week is Richie B with just an unbelievably creative pocket. I mean, this thing was, you know, it was hard for me to wrap my head around it. It's uh, traditional with wire cables, um, kind of like a, a rail pocket with some kind of strange wire connectors making up the, the rail, the ladder, and chains for the leathers, and topped it off with this uh, bug LED lights up on the scoop, which just integrating those and having it still be functional was, was amazing. This thing was cool looking, and he topped it off with a, like a DIY LED shaft, took a ghost shaft and popped some LEDs in there, and this thing looked like a lightsaber, very cool. Number two this week is Lacrosse Works with his chain traditional. This thing is so clean. And watching his video, it's strong, it throws well, it makes a cool sound. Chain isn't easy to work with, so the thing that really struck me was how clean of an effort it was. I mean, this thing's pretty. You know, I couldn't stop looking at it. I think if he ever sells them, he should throw in a set of grills because this thing is, it's blingy. So that leaves our number one spot this week, goes to FL Stringer with just an unbelievably creative, just amazing looking pocket. I mean, the attention to detail, it just blew me away. He used foam cords. He left on the, uh, the aglet connectors, braided them through for leathers. He used orange webbing for the shooters from a one of the ratchet strap systems, and then some kind of gray wire tubing or, or some, I mean, it, the thing, just looking at it, you know, I looked at it for a long time and it was just like, what? That thing's bonkers. All right, so that's it. Congratulations to uh, FL Stringer for taking the top spot this week again. And everyone, I mean, those those were awesome. Each and every one of you really knocked it out of the park, and I was super impressed. Wish I could have picked five winners, but I couldn't. So best of luck in the rest of the competition. That's the end of competition number two. The leaderboard set, you guys can check that out at the end of the episode, as well as a preview of what's coming up next week. Take care. Keep laxing. Hey, I'm Frank Stanley from Style and Strings Lacrosse, home of America's Best Pockets. For our contest, we are focusing on using new technology. SDX was awesome and gave us some pieces of their new knot mesh. This is something never seen before and brand new to this industry. Our contestants will be stringing this into their head however they see fit. I'll be judging them on creativity and their effectiveness. With the way this contest is set up, I'm excited to see something I've never seen before.